So you want to dive into the world of 2D animation, but you're wondering what is the best 2D animation software? Which software should you use? I'm Ferdinand from Animator Island, bringing you tips, tricks and tutorials to become a better animator. This video is part of our big 2D animation class. So if you want to learn 2D animation, uh, follow this series and you will learn 2D animation from A to Z. Before I get to some actual recommendations of what software you should be using, especially as a beginner, let's make it clear that there are two things that you really need to understand. Number one is the animation software doesn't make your animation good or bad. If you've never animated before, if you don't know the rules or principles and working methods, you could sit in front of the most expensive, most professional animation software and you would still not be able to do a good looking animation. Vice versa, there are some very skilled animators who have worked in software that is not made for animating, like Microsoft Paint, and they have done amazing animations. The software has tools to assist you and to help you, and a good software can make you work faster, but you need a base, you need a foundation, you need knowledge. That is what makes you a good animator. And the second thing that I want you to understand is there is no best animation software. In fact, many animation software, especially 2D animation software, is similar. Especially at the beginning, you could start with almost everything. Almost every 2D animation software has a timeline and a way for you to manipulate and create drawings and put them on this timeline. This is how every animation software works. And if you learn a new animation software, all you have to do is to learn where are these buttons that you already know in the new software. So what I really don't understand is why people are so afraid of learning new software. Like even when I work with professional animators, they sometimes tell me like, I really don't want to learn this software because I'm an expert in that software. I really don't understand that because you limit yourselves in your job opportunities. And also there are small differences between software and those differences sometimes can be very important. Some projects are easier to do in a certain software. But generally the thing that takes time to learn in animation uh, is your understanding of the theories of the principles and how well practiced you are with your drawing skills like that takes time and i hope with my course i can help you to move through this as quickly as possible but a new software if you have somebody who shows it to you or if you have a good good software documentation or training videos really learning a software only takes like two to three weeks and I will make a big overview video later that shows what the specialties of different software is, what functions you have in one software and not in another. But those are details and these details are something that you shouldn't concern yourself with yet as a beginner. As a beginner, you need to build that base, that foundation, that grasp of the animation principles. And that's what this course is about. But before we get to my recommendations, um, this is actually not a bad option either. Starting on paper with a flip book. This is the most direct way to experience animation. And you can draw a flip book on an ordinary post-it note stack. Uh, just start at the bottom and then put your next next drawing on top of it. This way you can see the previous drawing shine through a little bit and it feels very, very direct because you know, there's this, this direct pencil to paper contact and you don't have a software interface in the way. It's just you and the lines and you can experiment with this. The only downside on uh, post-it notes is that after a while it's get, it gets a little, a little difficult to flip them. Um, but, for the beginning, this is more than enough for the first few exercises that we'll be doing. You could do them 
on a flipbook and do some amazing flipbooks. But if you really want to master animation and you want to create your own short films, uh, maybe you have an idea for a web series and you really want to bring your characters and your worlds to life, then you need better equipment. And most studios, if you want to work as a professional animator, they don't work on paper anymore because, you know, drawing on paper, scanning it and then putting it in the computer just takes a lot of time. Most animation studios use some kind of input device how you can draw directly on a computer. And a beginner option would be a drawing tablet, one of these, where um, you can draw on the tablet and it works like a mouse. Whatever you do here happens on the computer screen. This one here is a Wacom Intuos and Wacom is a, a very no known brand for these kind of input devices. They are really good but they are also a bit pricey and then there are other companies that also make tablets um, that are supposedly quite decent and a good option to start with directly drawing at the computer. Then if you want to level up even more, there are displays, monitors on which you can draw directly with your pencil and you see it happening directly under the tip of your pen, which feels a lot more direct than, you know, drawing on the tablet here and look, looking up and seeing what you're drawing over there. Um, don't worry if drawing on a tablet feels a little unusual for you at the beginning, you will get used to it. Uh, some animators, they started drawing with a mouse. Um, I really don't, wouldn't recommend to you getting too used to drawing with a mouse because drawing with a pencil, uh, drawing with a pen is uh, so much better. And um, if you have to start with a mouse, I would recommend using shape tools, you know, tools that allow you to draw a circle and to draw a box and then work with these boxes and move these boxes around um, rather than trying to painstakingly draw with the mouse. Now, finally, let's talk about what software should be in your computer and take this input. As I said, there are many options. I will make another video comparing a lot of them, but for beginners and for this class, we will be using a software called OpenTunes, which I think is the perfect mix of professional and a beginner option, let's put it that way. It's not exactly beginner friendly because a version of it was used at a studio, at Studio Ghibli, they used a version of OpenTunes called Harlequin, I think. And now this software is open source and anyone can download it and anyone can start uh, animating in a very professional, very powerful software. It will prepare you to work in a professional environment. And at the same time, it's free. Anyone can just, you, the link is here, you can just go ahead and download it and start learning animation today and I will be doing most of the exercises um, in this course in OpenTunes. There are two more options that I want to mention in case you don't want to dive as deep into animation and you just want to do a quick exercise, um, then those are enough for a start but I would not animate a whole short film or a, a, an episode for your web series, I wouldn't animate that in those softwares. Namely, Krita, which is a digital painting software which has an animation timeline, um, but some limitations. I think you can't copy lines from one animation drawing into another animation drawing on the timeline, which is a huge limitation, but Krita has wonderful brushes, uh, it's a wonderful bitmap software, and to just do some quick exercises, animation exercises, this is more than enough. And then there's Pencil 2D, which also has all the, the minimum things that you need in an animation software, the timeline, you have some drawing tools, um, and this could also work for some exercises. So if you're already on board with committing to learn animation, watch the next video in which we have a look at the basic functions of OpenTunes. 
Or if you want, in the video after that, we are jumping directly into the animation principles. And all the videos about animation theory, they will not be about software. You will just learn what you need to think in your head and how you need to plan and how you need to approach your animation in these videos. So either way, I would be very happy if you are um, continuing your journey into 2D animation with me and I'm looking forward to see you in one of the next videos.